On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, it's the Minecraft Creator Series catch-up. I have been meaning to catch up with the Party Supreme's Palace, this ultimate Minecraft build of a party castle with a full bunch of Party Creator Series packs that we have to see. They've just been filtering out the last few months. The Party Palace was actually a 2022 late release, and it's slowly filtering out more often onto shelves. It was hard to find towards the end of the year. I don't know if you saw it, but it took me forever to find one, and finally I had to just show it. It's a Minecraft Creator Series castle with dance floor full of great opportunities for your Creator Series figures, plus a bunch of figures here today to mix and match and horse around with. So lots of fun in store. Let's get to these and see what we can create. All right, so there it is, Minecraft Creator Series Party Supreme's Palace. We need to get you a better party hat, Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. So it's like a giant castle with a party dance floor that lights up, maybe even some music and in-game codes. The box is pretty heavy, so you know it's gotta be good in there. On the back there, we get the view of the front and the back of the castle with the dance floor. Also with that great Mattel, destroy your box opening the back routine. Sometimes I find that loosening it up with an ASMR red octopus helps it out a little bit. And also soothes the soul. But I'll give you a little more help octopus here. And start tearing. I guess I'm not keeping this box. Okay, Octi, you got the rest of it? Thank you. So what do we got? We got a lot to build here, and oh, my favorite, fine print. We should make some bookshelves for it. <laughs> Inside the box, we have our castle front. Love the open mouth smiley face banners. <laughs> Looks like a festive place to go. That beautiful fine print. So much to read. It will keep you up for days. And a quick instruction guide on how to play. Ooh, and there's a code. Inside you've got a code. Minecraft Creators Series, here's the code. Parents, flip this card over to unlock a special Creator Series in-game item for your character. I like how it says parents, but then your character. So it would be my character that I could be like, ha ha, take that kids. And what do we got on the other side, the flip side, we've got the dance floor lifted up, we've got to pull this down, we've got to build this somehow. Time to consult these instructions. Ooh. Press button to unlock dance floor. Button. Dance floor. Spiffy. Another bag of contents in the box, we've got our character figure. It's Party Supreme. Oh yes, a jolly fellow I would definitely want to attend a party with. I think your crown is over your eyes though, dude. Can we raise that up a little? There we go. There's your crown piece. A little bit of Creator Series magic. And then spinning around, what a character. But first, on this old castle, we need to do some modern restoration by building and adding on battlements to the top of the party palace. When building your modern party palace, it is always good to familiarize yourself with the old world of castle building. According to Wikipedia, a battlement is a defensive architecture, such as that of city walls or castles, compromises a parapet, a defensive low wall between chest height and head height in which gaps or indentations, which are often rectangular, occur at intervals to allow for the launch of arrows or other projectiles at your face from within the defenses. These gaps are termed crenels, and a wall or building with them is called crenelated. Sometimes squirrels will weave their way in and out of the crenels in a way of saying, ha ha ha, can't get me, can't get me. The other squirrel from behind gets angered and gets faster. They continue to go faster and faster until one hits a wall. Once the wall is hit, the squirrel may have a concussion. When a squirrel has a concussion, we have to take the squirrel out for concussion safety protocols. Squirrels with too many concussions may not be as funny as squirrels with only a few concussions. So we take concussion safety and crenels and this old castle building very seriously. Okay, where were we? Uh, a party palace setup. So I believe we have the front all ready to go. We got a nice entrance, a diamond blocked doorway with the funny smiley face banners flipping around to the back. We have our dance floor now extended. However, we may or may not need to install some batteries. I see the music jukebox player down here 
And yes, uh, mm, nothing going yet. We must find, ah, uh, okay. We do have an on and off switch down below, placing on to on, and it no go. So we will add three AAA batteries to this structure. Funny, it feels so heavy like it already had batteries, but it must have a lot of electrical components. So let's switch out our batteries real fast, add in some new fresh batteries, and we can begin our dance. And batteries are installed, and now let's see if I did this correctly. We are, well, let's switch off and then back on, make sure everything's reset. Oh, yes, press our button in front, lower the dance floor, and... What a tune! Now, did I detect some lights with this dance floor? Let's let's get the lights adjusted. I'm trying again here. Wow, that jukebox is really loud, and that dance floor does not disappoint. It just echoes and roars through the table as the characters dance about. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. I think only two songs though right now. I'm only getting two songs. So yeah, a light up dance floor, some catchy tunes. I kind of wish there was a third disc on there, but the fact that they are so loud and long make for a pretty good effect. Before more figures, let's take a quick break with the Candy Sweetheart Coercion Part 9. A great battle unfolds in front of the bank between Squirrelzilla, King of All Squirrels, and a Gold Mecha Squirrel. Wow, that was close! Squirrelzilla just stopped Mecha Squirrel from breaking open the bank. It's not over yet. Whew. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Gold Mecha Squirrel is programmed to defend any Zilla Squirrel attack. Take that! Smack! As the squirrels continue to observe a great battle, but what? All too easy, says the candy sweetheart. Hey, were you stealing candy from the bank? You need to open a checking account for that treat. Uh oh. You darn sweethearts coerced us again! <laughs> Don't you run away from us! Everyone stampede and destroy the sweethearts! To be continued. So we have a few more Creator Series packs to add on to the Party Palace. We have the Fluffy Earmuffs Inflatable Ducky Pack. I love the ducky. Hey, I think we've just seen this skin figure in the Lego figures too. A new skin for 2020 Squee. Also, the mushroom hat and big sunglasses pack. That's gonna be fun to get open. And they're also selling single carded packs. Again, kind of basic. We've got Creator Series Ripped Jeans character pack. The Letterman Jacket character pack. And the Puffy Purse Creator character pack. So plenty of items to hang with the Creator Series. The more of these packs you get, the more kind of crazy characters you can produce. Especially with this inflatable ducky, that is great fun. I don't know why, but it feels like this creator pack is filled extra with extra pieces of creation. So there is our creator figure included, undressed at the moment in the most basic form of dress. <coughs> Check out the expansive space this hair fills. It's good though, so let's see, let's add on the hat with antenna, or what? what are these exactly? I guess you can arrange it variously so. And of course the ducky. How do we get the ducky on? Probably just slide the legs through. And some boots. Some rain boots. 
Whoops, I think I got the boots mixed up. The ducky suit waist piece is actually pressure fitted on pretty tight. Once you get those legs through, you gotta really push this duck all the way up to the chin of the figure, but what's nice is that it's so snug, it's not going to fall off. So we got multiple shoes right now, and we can even add in some shoulder pads if we wanted to. And a few other choices for the figure. Let's remove the hat and hair and place down, what would this be, a strays? A stray hair piece? Did that fit right? Doesn't really fit right exactly. Oh, you've got to place down a little tighter? Hmm, not exactly sure how that fits on. And with this shirt piece, you can actually cover your mouth like a scarf from the cold elements and then placing back this down. Oh, this might be how you want it. Eh, maybe not. Oh, there's earmuffs too. Placing the earmuffs on, then maybe the cold head? Mm, no, the cold head just kind of wraps around and I think just nicely settles. I can't get it very straight. And the other deluxe creator series pack full of great things. We have the mushroom hat and big sunglasses pack full of some fun things. I'm getting all my accessories mixed up now. It's so easy to do with just a couple packs of the Creator Series. Here's our basic skinned minifigure with the pack. Bright mustard color shirt, khaki pants. The best part of Creator Series, we can move away from Alex and Steve and build a whole universe of characters. What do I start with? How about the mushroom hat? Are we in like Super Mario World now all of a sudden? Can you make a mushroom hat in game? I think it's gotta be just a skin mod. What do we have for pants? These are the funniest pants. It's like a full piece of rubberized pants. Both the duck and the pants here are a different material than the common placed items. Most of these, well, this is a softer plastic too. Many of the items we've seen before have been a rigid plastic, but some of these items are a softer feel. This is gonna shoot these pants on really fast. That's pretty funny, I like these pants quite a bit. Add some weight to the figure. There's also this amazing zombie hat. Where'd the zombie hat go? Oh, now it's stuck. At first it didn't wanna go on, and now, now the guy's got a mushroom hat embedded into his skull. Fungus, zombie invasion. I'm having a little trouble with these helmet hats. If you look inside them, they should snug fit around the character figure's head. Okay, I think I got this one. This is harder to do. This one over here was just not wanting to fit. You can see there's little grooves in there and they should fit around the character head, but they just don't want to. I gotta get this duck back on, by the way. The duck is the best suit. Okay, much better. Anything else of note in this pack? There's some epic glasses. Maybe I can place over onto you. This almost looks like a giant bow tie, but it's more of like a little swamp shawl. It even has a clip on the back to help place onto the character. It's kind of odd. I already have the hat on. Can I like move this around? I think it just wraps around the arms even. Yeah, like, like that kind of. It's a really odd piece. The second wave of creator series packs from late last year really added some funny things. So this is actually kind of the zombie setup with the shoes, maybe these red shoes. But we have to see the full mushroom setup. Let's do that real fast. Now the head's really stuck. So unwrap this around. We've got the pants on, that's the mushroom pants. And then we just have to place on the mushroom shirt. This is really funny, I love this shirt. And sleeves. And they have the glasses with hair piece, but I gotta do the full helmet again, that's funny. And we've got our mushroom warrior, dude. No accessories for like swords, shovels, pickaxes, anything like that included. It's all dress play, but there is a plenty, plenty of fun in these packs. And of course we have more single packs. Who is this? This is the ripped jeans character pack. And these all associate with Camp Enderworld, which I have not played. Camp Enderworld or Camp Enderwood? Enderwood, I think it is. So there may be codes included with these too. There is a ton of clutter on the table now. I wasn't even paying attention which was what was he was supposed to wear. I think I've got like a leather vest for him. I think the leather vest was what he was wearing, but he may not be able to wear it because of this awesome back piece of uh, red dragon elytra wings. That's what really stands out on these packs, these single packs, is some of the wings you can add on. And sure enough, inside we've got codes for Camp Enderwood. Gonna have to check that out. I'm really close to my 50th uh, episode of gameplay. Maybe after that I can just run over to Camp Enderwood or something. I don't know. 
I should put that on my things to do list. It would be nice to kind of explore some of those fun adventure uh, extras on Minecraft. But there is our character. And this one over here, she looks pretty fun. This is the Puffy Purse, uh, Puffy Purse Pack with Angel Wings. Kind of like this one a lot. Okay, Puffy Purse Angel Wing Pack. Open and ready, so you can see a great angel wing, elytra wing setup, or are they just more of skin? They're probably not elytra wings, those are just the skin. And we've got some white shoes for her, white boots. Place those on. What's nice about the boots is they give these characters a little more stability as her wing falls off, as her other wing falls off. I would say that the wings do fall off a little bit too easy. I mean, they did that so you can mix and match wings, but I kind of wish sometimes they were just embedded in and maybe had some flap articulation. So there she is, also with a game code. I'm not sure if there's different codes or not. That's something to test out. Did she have a purse? What happened to her purse? Oh, it was left in the case. The purse was left in the case. Thank you, Poppy, thank you very much. So we have a purse accessory. I think we could just kind of wrap around her shoulder. Oh, it's so cool. It's got a wolf pup sticking out of the purse. So that's ultra creative. This one definitely fun to look for. I like this one. All of these terrific fun. One last one, we've got Creator Series Letterman Jacket. It's funny, Mattel and Hasbro trying to go with less plastic. So we've got kind of this less inspired bubble uh, clamshell, which I don't really totally like this style. I'd rather almost have it completely in a box at this point, um, but we'll just go with it. Oh boy, where's your Letterman jacket now? It's it's there's stuff everywhere. Um, these are definitely the sleeves. This guy has got a snarky look, doesn't he? One eyebrow lifted. which is something I can't do. You gotta have that talent to lift an eyebrow. Uh, oh, he's got the number one, so this is probably the front to the jacket. So there is our Letterman jacket character. And he also has, if I can find it, huh, another pair of glasses. Whose glasses are these? I like these glasses. He also should have kind of like a little VR headset or something, but, um, oh, it's in the package still. He's got a little headset too. What, what are these? Are they horns? Maybe they're horns. I kind of thought that they were like a little VR piece, but maybe they're just like little sheep horns or something. Help me out with what those are. So plenty, plenty of mix match creator series character pieces for the Party Palace Party Supreme to invite you over and dress up on his dance floor. Oh, and one more Creator Series pack that I got behind with and really wanted to check out, and it's got a little bit of dust on it already. This was late last year, 2022, to pick up. This is the Seafaring Friends pack with the dolphin, the boat. Great package design with this one with the underwater theme box and then the top with the character diving out of the boat. Just almost like you not want to open and just want to display. But inside we've got some more pieces. This fish tank hat looks terrific. Make a big splash by creating your own Minecraft adventure. So let's get this guy out. All right, we start with this striped shirt fellow who is diving with the dolphin. And of course, the dolphin. I think we've seen a dolphin before in a single pack. The fish tank helmet here is epic. Let's place that on. Probably one of the funniest helmets of the day. Just trying to get it to wrap around the character's headpiece. So how does this help you breathe underwater? It's got a fish on the side. Maybe it's just full of air inside there and you can dive underwater and be safe from the elements. It's just goofy and silly. And then our Daisy swimsuit character from the top world. She of course had that boat on the package top there. Nice to have a little boat accessory. And with her diving helmet, we've got an extra diving helmet oh, no! included with the pack. Not too many creator accessories. They could have placed a couple more in my opinion. Like a trident would have been fun. Maybe some seaweed, some items to dive for would have been fun. So the pack is a little bit light on accessories. The box design was, fine, was perfect though. And another creator code. It's a different code than what I saw from the first pack, so curious if we're going to see different things. Love that that's included though. It really helps to sell item. So that's another great creator series pack, epic pack to look for. And there's another one that I almost forgot, really? 
I knew these had been filling up my studio for a while. We've got the Cow Poke Buddies Pack, a creator series, in-game code inside, a horses. We've got horses, a brown and a spotted gray. Oh, these are too much fun. Another excellent package design. You just can't want to open, but we're gonna open because I want to see these cow poke friends. Let's see what we got. Okay, lots packed in with this one. There's our cowgirl character skin included. Pretty basic. Black shirt, blue pants, ponytail, ready for some riding. We have our gray spotted horse. And each horse should have a saddle to place on their back. And our brown horse, creator series horse. Ah, have we seen a horse before? I think we have seen a horse, of course, in the... <laughs> Mattel 4 inch scale series of figures, so two horses. It's cool that they included two with this pack and another saddle. <laughs> now to dress up our figure, there's a lot of fun stuff for her. She has this really crazy horse head and this horse head is going to fit over her head. Now she can go and live about with the horses and not be identified as a human. She has some heart glasses too which are kind of funny. We gotta hide her eyes, that way the horses know nothing of what her deception is involving. Kinda of hard to get those glasses on. I guess you gotta fit them under the horse head. That is too funny. That is a giant horse head character uh, mask piece. That is so fun. But if you're not into scaring your horses with a giant horse head, we've got a, whoa, where's her hair? We have a giant novelty hat. Cowboy, cowgirl hat for her. Actually, it's probably not novelty. That's just kind of correct creator size. Oh, I think it's on backwards too. Hang on. There she goes. And then let's get her vest on. Let's get her dressed like she's actually ready to go on a stampede with boots and spurs on those boots. Very nice. They thought of everything. Bandana? How does that fit? It just kind of squeezes under her neck. Oh, and even a belt buckle piece. Well, we'll skip that because I got her shoes on. It would just slide up over the feet and under her... Actually, it may not fit under the vest there. It may just need to be placed without vest. And what else? Oh, we've got a nice little uh, bracelet cuff there for her too. So she's full of accessories. So great figure pack with this one and of course we can have her sit up onto a horse, maybe, maybe not with those spurs. <laughs> Take the, those off if you would like to have her sit up on a horse. But if you're a fan of the range theme, we've got a couple horses and just more loaded accessories for your collection. So there we go with an Epic Creator Series Palace Party. Party at Supreme's Palace. The horses have really taken to the dance floor right now. <laughs> These have been fun. This is a fun series. You don't need to pick up as much as I threw in today. Just a few figures will do it. Grab the dance floor and have a party. It's really loud. It fills up the room. It's just different. It's a fun display piece too. The castle wall will fold up and fit anywhere. It, it, are the horses okay? I think the gray horse needs some hay. Maybe some alfalfa? Oats? Oat bran? Oat bran may wake it up. Well, there you go. There you go with that. And that's the Minecraft Creator Series catch up. Pretty good, just loaded, loaded with different figures, accessories, horses, and castles. If you liked today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrel eye, a squamant, your favorite Creator Series pack. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. And coming up soon, more Minecraft build-up portal figures. Now we're building an end portal. Pretty good. I'm still hunting spider and axolotl though, so stay tuned.